<laughs> Don't let it blow off the hill. <laughs> okay, this is a good video. I like this. Oh my God, it's big too. This thing's so bad. On the lake. Just sitting here having my coffee. Still and quiet here. Today we are going to hike, I think it's only four or five miles, where we will meet um, our drop off for our resupply for the next five days to get us through the 100 mile wilderness. After we get our resupply, we will have, I don't know, four or five more miles to hike to the campsite. So it will be a short day today. Not sure what the day has in store don't know what kind of views, what kind of trail, what kind of wildlife we'll see today. You never know. That's the beauty of every day out here. Hopefully there won't be anything too exciting that I will miss um, recording. just got um, to this little viewpoint here. Uh, last night we stayed at Logenbrook Shelter, or Lindsay they call them here in Maine. Um, trying to conserve battery, so just wanted to get this little bit of view in and um, try to set my phone back off.
You're on video. Walk slowly and don't you dare fall. Yes. I'll take some now too. Yeah. For the ground. You can see the line we were holding on to, but big ones go that way. Looks easy. It's not easy. This is not easy. This is tough. Slow. Nope. There's nothing like this there. Woohoo! Snapshot made it fording across that river. <laughs> Chairback Mountain, baby. Day uh, 59, I think it is. Thank you, Plant Lee, for recording for me. Phone's dead after eight days in the wilderness here. But look at this. It's amazing. amazing. Look at that lake over there. Woohoo. This is going to be super cool. <laughs> Don't let it blow off the hill. <laughs> okay, this is a good video. I like this. Okay. Are we rolling? So we've shown you the, the sunrises and the sunsets and the beautiful views and the beautiful lakes and ponds and rivers. And now we're going to show you the true AT after hiking for 10 days. Without a shower. Without a shower. Without enough food. Yes. We're without de accurate protein. We're depleted. We're soaking wet from sweat. We're muddy top to bottom. We're tired. We have what? Less than two miles to go. We're exhausted. About one and a half. We have absolutely no energy. And this is the real life. It's not hard. It's, this is hard. It's hard. Very hard. It's sheer willpower. Right now we're on willpower. This, there's nothing out. We do not have anything in the gas tank and we have nothing left in our reserves. Nothing. 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 <laughs> so you guys are stopping here or what? We no. were stopping because uh, <laughs> we were waiting, we were waiting for you. Ah. Uh, you weren't answering. I was screaming and you were like not answering. So we got 1.5 miles to go on willpower. We're done. I hope we can make it. We can make it. Feet <laughs> don't fail me now. Feet. Oh. oh my gosh. Feet are so sore. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thought we'd share that with you. I know everybody wanted to see the real. Yeah. Now I have to pee. Yeah, no joke. I have to pee. Okay, you pee. Yes. Camera off. The camera uh, off. Oh, oh, pee. sure. I'll <laughs> shut the camera off.
So we are in Mons in Maine. We just had lunch by the lake here at the Lakeshore House. It is a really cute little hiker friendly town. A little antique shop. And there is the municipal building. This is the Lakeshore House. Cute historical society and the Appalachian Trail Visitor Center, which is kind of all closed up right now. See, there's the lake, antique store. Oh, that's Rob. <laughs> Hi, Rob. <laughs> He's our weatherman. He's not very accurate. He's the best of all weathermen. <laughs> 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 Little art studio. Post office. Definitely a cute little town here. It's pretty quiet. Little art gallery up there. Okay, so this is uh, breakfast at the Shaw's. No, I was gonna take pictures too. No, no, we never look no, there's a couple of them, like, uh, uh, That's Poet cooking up breakfast. Hey, hey, hey it it's yeah. going. Yes, look at this. You sure are, look at that. You're doing an exceptional job. You, <laughs> yeah. Yummy. Miyagi waiting for his breakfast. Oh, wait, there's insight. Hey, uh, <laughs> So we spent a few days here at the Shah's Hostel, which is right here. And let me show you. It's a pretty cool place run by 
um, a couple named Hippie Chick and Poet. They're wonderful host and hostess. Um, they really make you feel welcome here. This is the, the setup. They have a bunkhouse and uh, private rooms. Let's see. Some hikers just got off the trail. This is the bunkhouse here. You can get a bunk for $25 a night or a private room for $50. Called the cottage. And that's the main house there. And they have showers, toilets, and washer and dryer in here. Some loner clothes if you need them. You have tenting out here in the yard if you choose to stay in your tent. Down here is Poets Emporium. It's a great little shop with all the um, gear that you might need. We are staying upstairs here in the main house in a great little room. There's Janet. That's the crew over there just hanging out. 